Alright guys, Mr. G here with another Darkest Dungeons today, and we are uh, finishing up another veteran boss here. Um, trying to avoid champion dungeons for a bit, since I failed a whole pile of those. Alright, so we're going up against the, uh, the Sunken Crew, and I'm using a move that one of you guys gave me on the Reddit, which is uh, an occultist with a bonus move skill chance and a move resist chance. So what we're going to do is hope that he gets to move first, and then we're going to do demon's pull on the, the anchor guy, or not on the anchor guy, but on the crew, so that that bumps the anchor to the back and that it's stuck, not able to move for the remainder of the battle. We're going to hope that works. We're bringing a plague doctor who's not in great shape, uh, just to deal with blighting, bleeding, and then our arbalester, and uh, Mrs. G, our Hellion here. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, you know what, maybe not the best idea on a Hellion, because bleeding tends to not be very helpful on this boss. You know what, let's just stress everybody out by bringing our Abomination. Here we go, we have another part of the story, so we've got an employing crew of, of mariners to retrieve artifacts. We'll see how this does it. All right, so off we go to get the drowned crew. I prepared an alternative payment. Ooh, sounds like an alternative fact right there. Nobody wants the alternative, which apparently was turning them into undead Pirates of the Caribbean type dudes. Well, off we go. All right, which room is the furthest away? One, two, three. Really? One, two, three, that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, obviously that one. Away we go. I'm thinking the abomination combined with my already stressed out plague doctor and no jester to deal with stresses. Oh, I forgot shovels. This isn't off to a poor start. Not good. Well, we're just going to hope that we get a good virtue roll on the plague doctor and that he just gets an awesome buff instead of getting a terrible affliction right off the bat. That or I go camping very soon. Let's make sure we remember to keep our torches lit. Okay, we've run into some baddies, some brigands, just hanging out in here, as you do. Um, just kind of want to try out, this is what I'm hoping to use on the boss, and I know I probably shouldn't use it in this situation, but I just want to try it out. Ooh. Did some damage and some polling. Well, that was fun. And now we've got this guy in the front. Hopefully that screws up some of his abilities. Let's see. Can we do anything from the front with this guy? Not really. All right. We're going to transform our uh, Bossy Pants 2.0 here. Go full goat man. And see what we can do. Taking that guy out. All right. So we can't use very many of our skills. Well, where we are at. This is not good. I did not really realize that. About the old plague doctor needs to be in the back bit. Oh, maybe I can swap him with the occultist. Did not double check my skills. I don't use the plague doctor enough, and I should because he's a versatile guy. He's he's handy. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do? we got to deal with this big giant guy. So, is it worth it to do Mark? Yes, 100% damage. Let's mark him. De I didn't know that. Did the debuff? Well, that's nice. Let's, let's hammer this guy. And... What do we, and you don't need to heal anybody. Just throw a debuff on this guy. Why not? Oh, I could be marking with the occultist. That would be probably a better use of my time. But we will just eh, throw some blight, because that's all we can do. I need to rework skills and positions, see if I can improve this. We'll see. This is not a, the most efficient part I've ever made, but... Okay, we need to get some bleed curing going on. Look at that, 35 damage. Okay, Arbalister, well done. Okay, let's throw some heal on our good friend here. 
Hopefully he doesn't get more bleed damage. Alright, goat guy. You can just, well, just calm back down here. Let's just do this. I'd like to let my guy at least heal before we're done. Okay. I think every one of my party has a heal skill, interestingly enough. How well are we going to work like this? Anybody? No, we're going to get shanked. Oh, for six. Bad news. Bad news, and I'm about, this is the, I'm playing this battle so poorly, guys. I know. Feel free to let me know in the comments, though. <laughs> it's playing really, really poorly. <laughs> uh, I need to, to relook at my skills here. Okay, come on. Let's bandage this guy. Oh, we can't do anything with, oh, from this position either. All right. <laughs> worst, worst playing of all time. Okay, finish this guy off, and then let's, let's have a look if we can get some better skills for the Plague Doctor here. All right, dodgy. All right, some trinkets. All right, what can we do here? Well, let's bandage you up. What skills can you do from the second row? Noxious Blast. Yeah, this one, no. This one we can do, but I don't think I've upgraded it. It's at two, which is kind of a bummer. Um, all right, we can do Disorienting Blast. We can't do the heal from where I want to do it, which is a bummer. Um, but I do want some sort of blight heal, but if I can't do it, what's the point? So we'll turn it off. Let's use these skills, because they're the, the ones we got that work, where we're at. Um, could be doing a mark rather than a debuff. You know what, we're going to get rid of... Hmm, do I want a debuff versus being able to mark guys? Because I've got... I've only got the one character that uses Mark, so we're going to leave debuff in there. Just got the Arbalister going on that. Alright, so empty rooms. Always nice when we're trying to get to the boss fight. Not be bothered. Onwards we go. Ignoring curios. Don't want to get too messed up here. So, 90, 90. Don't let the Abomination go. He's in good shape. There we go. Job bossy pants. Yeah, let's keep let's keep uh keep the torch up. Don't need anyone getting more stressed out than they already are. And another empty room. Well, let's go one more room and then we'll we'll use our camp and see what we can do for our plague doctor. Okay, onwards we go. Onwards. Do, do, do. Yes, eat some food. This one's not going to take very long at this rate. No enemies to fight. We're just chugging along in the cove. There we go. Now we've got some baddies. Oh, and we've surprised them. I love when that happens. Okay. Let's get you going, Mr. Abomination. Full angry goat. Stress everybody out. Um, see if we get this battle ought to last long enough that maybe... Maybe Rake will be worth it. Or, you know what, let's let's take somebody out. 15 to 27. Now let's, let's sink that into... This guy's got 20. 20. Let's hit the, hit the third row, because we can. All right, nicely done. Nicely done. Well, let's just mess everybody up by pulling this guy to the front. I'm enjoying using this. All right. Well, we're not going to cause bleed, so we may as well stun this big ugly thing. Pustulant Thrall. Apparently they explode. I have yet to see that actually happen. But you know what? We're just... These guys are not very resistant to blight. Let's blight this ugly thing. be interesting just to see one of those explode. Well, let's finish this guy off. Nicely done. We need to have the Plague Doctor do something good here so he can de-stress. Twelve points of damage from the zombie. Okay, it's not a zombie, it's a Thrall. But I mean, really, they're in the same family. Thralls and zombies. Somebody let me know that in the comments, because I honestly, I don't know. Are they? Or are they not? And we're taking him out. Certainly not taking much damage, but I could be nice to deal with the, uh, with the stress here. Well... 
blight this little guy. What a waste. But you know what? Why not? We've blighted the teeny little guy. Oh, yes. Let's do some healing of ourselves because this guy will self-heal when we transform him back. Anyway, she can't even attack there, which is kind of a bummer. Should probably put her flare ability in instead of uh, that suppressing fire move. Would be a wise move. Ooh, let's just debuff a snail. Well, no, that's just a waste of time. No, we're going to heal. We're not debuffing a, a, a snail. Apparently it's a maggot, but that looks an awful lot more to me like a snail. I've got a lot in my backyard. Uh, they love Thailand weather. I'm stepping on them all the time, and I feel really bad. Um, I'm not Buddhist, you know what I mean, but still. I'm like, I don't want to kill stuff like a snail if I don't have to. They don't hurt my garden. All right, we're close enough. We don't want our plague doctor to get afflicted, so we're going to have some marshmallows. Do a little bit of a camp time. I need to probably get some better camp skills. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time at the survivalist, so I need I need to work on that. I need to get, I need to, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my goodness. Screwed that up. Oh, can anyone give this guy a better day? No. And I used the one, oh my goodness. Well, let's buff speed. Let's, why not? And let's hope we don't get nighttime attacked because I didn't bother to use a skill to prevent that. Really got lucky, but I did really nothing to help our Plague Doctor's stress situation, which is bad news bears. But it is what it is. So onwards we go in this pretty much empty dungeon so far. Now that I say that, we'll get some roving mini-boss of some kind. Nope. All right. Here we go. Baddies. No. Okay. To the boss, then. So you're running out of of veteran bosses to get here soon. This is probably one of my last of the veteran ones to finish off, and I will be stuck on a champion ones. Eh, maybe I have a few more. Losing track. I need to go back through my playlist and, and see. I was getting a little bit dispirited failing champion dungeons. Like, I got really confident after beating the Wolf in a Shambler, and I was thinking, I can do champion dungeons. Not so much. I'm not exactly sure how Holy Water works, protects against debuffs. Well, we're just, we'll throw some on. We brought it. See how we do. So, as soon as this Anchorman guy shows up, we're going to try and pull, pull this big ugly, oh, here he is. Okay, we're hopefully, our occultist moves soon and we don't get anybody trapped in the uh, thingy, what's it? Start raking stuff. We're going to just continue rake so that we can build up that damage buff. All right, let's pull this thing. Let's hope it works. It does, I believe. All right, hopefully, if my advice was correct from you guys, that guy will be stuck doing nothing. And this thing is susceptible to blight. We will blight it. All right. Boarding clutch. So hopefully the rest of this battle is just continue attack. Yeah, it looks like he skipped his turn. Well, that made this battle really, really easy then. Now that I say that, though, I will screw it up. It's nice she can hit him, even though he's in the front row, because he takes up three slots, so that's lucky for the Arbalester there. Nice. I call her Arbalester. It's Arbalest. Guys, I've been saying that wrong the whole time. No one's corrected me. I am disappointed in you guys for not yelling at me about that in the comments. I sound like an idiot. All right. Should we bother debuffing this thing? I guess. Why not? We'll do that. That thing we can ignore. Let's throw some more blight on this ugly thing. All right. Is it resisting? No, we got it. Okay. Shoot him. It's marked. 39 damage. Thank you very much. Almost done with this already. Drink of the dead. Dodge. Well, this is almost too easy. I feel like something bad should happen. Like the latest season of Walking Dead, it's like, oh, nothing but good stuff is just happening now. Anybody watching the newest season of Walking Dead? Oh, my word. After that last one, I think they were like, let's just make everything super happy fun time for everybody. What are we looking at? 50% damage. That is pretty cool. And bonus to speed. We're just going to continue 
hammering that. That wasn't a lot of damage. 12, though. Do we bother debuffing this thing? Let's no, let's do some damage to it. Let's hit it with uh, ceiling spaghetti. Want to throw on some more blight with this thing? Yes, we do. Of course we do. Are we looking at 10 now? Oh, this is going to be over quickly. And uh, nobody's even afflicted, not even the Plague Doctor, whom we brought in bad shape. Be nice if he could get to level 5. That would, that would make my day. All right, let's finish this thing off. There it goes. Just left with this little guy now. Oh, he's toast too. I think I already have that one. Maybe I don't. We'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take a peek at that in a minute. Just want to give you guys an update. Here's how we're doing. So, like you guys have been saying, I am running out of easy missions to do. So we're stacking up quite a few champion level dungeons. So I will give another champion one a go. Uh, that's it for Mr. G right now. Thank you guys for the good advice on this one. And I finally actually followed your advice. And guess what? You guys were right. It worked. That was easy. Maybe the easiest boss I've ever fought. Thanks, guys. Mr. G out. <laughs>